let's take a break from all the shopping and let's rank some products. We got so many of them. I mean, if you're here watching this, chances are that like me, you too are a beauty enthusiast. I was going to say beauty addict, but chances are you're a beauty enthusiast. And we have so many products and we've purchased so many on sale and as gifts, but we have so many for ourselves. Let's talk today about matte liquid lipstick and let's, uh, Let's gather them up and discuss it today here with me, Rebecca. I am a fashion and beauty editor who has worked for over 20 years. That's kind of a long time. Yeah, well over 20 years in the trenches with some of the biggest names in the industry. I have interviewed them. I've written about them. I've ghost written for them. I have worked on their websites. I have worked on their books, magazines, newspapers. But I have brought Not Fit for Print Beauty here to YouTube so that you have a sort of, you know, fun, hopefully, little beauty magazine to kind of read, read or watch every day or so here on YouTube. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, we got a lot of shopping that's happening right now and a lot of great sales that are still on. And I've been talking about a lot of them too, but if you're like me, you're getting sick of it. So let's take a little break and do something fun. This month of December, before we start getting into spring releases and all that stuff, that's just around the corner. Can you believe it? You're braving colder weather now, depending upon what hemisphere you're in, but there's warmer days ahead and spring releases will be coming soon. But while we await those, I, I usually do five videos a week. I might do four videos a week instead, give myself a little bit of a break, um, but we'll see how that goes. I just thought we could spend some time today with some liquid lips. I was looking at all of these in my collection. I have been really enjoying like YSL the inks and that's a liquid lip, but it's like a shiny liquid lip. So I know I wanted to look at kind of velvet moussey creams. Some of these have like 12 hours wear. Most of them are just kind of like a mousse and they're really nice. And I decided I would do my top 10. Uh, these are in no specific order except for number one. Number one cannot be disputed. What is my number one? Take a minute. I'll give you a moment here. I'll, you know, pose or something. And I want you to write down the best liquid lip ever invented. You might get it wrong and you'll kick yourself because I will take anyone on about this. This one is the best. I will save that for number one, but everything else will be in no particular order. Here's what I didn't give it to that you might be upset with me. I only had 10 spots. I can't get them all in. And you're, I was amazed. You would be shocked how many good liquid, liquid matte kind of moussey or, uh, long lasting matte liquid lips there are. I, I skipped Rare Beauty. A lot of people are going to be upset. Ilya has a good little product. I skipped that. People will be upset with me. Uh, I skipped NARS. NARS has two. NARS has a traditional liquid lip and it has a, I'm wearing it now as a tribute and homage because it was left out. They have the air matte. So think of that as number 11. I didn't include it in my favorites. I easily could have. It is a good one. When NARS Air Matte first came out, I didn't like it. And now I've kind of been, I've kind of come back around to it. I think this is a pretty kind of orangey red shade, bricky shade. Um, I'll put that all in the description bar, but I left out NARS. I, le I told you I left out Rare. Makeup by Mario I left out has a good one. One Size has a good one. It's a dual ended from One Size Beauty. Left that. I only have 10 spots. And so you guys are going to take issue with a lot of these, but I tried to get them all in. Again, generally in no specific order, but you know, Number one is definitely number one. All right, let's dive in here. Uh, first of all, I like this product. This is the Valentino Liquoroso. This is a liquid lip and a blush. Now, theoretically, any of these could be a blush, but Valentino suggests that. This is, uh, it has about 15 shades, I think, and right now it's $40, and you can definitely find it on sale. I like that this can do both the lip and the blush. Like I said, any of them really probably could but Armani uh, advertises that for this one. And I think they're really good, pretty shades, nice. I think it lasts a long time on the cheeks. It's a good product from Armani. Um, and like I said, in 15 shades, it's a pretty one. It made my list. It's a good one. This is a great one. 
Honestly, if I didn't have my other as number one, I almost could have put this for number one. I love this brand's lip products. So the ninth one, we're going to count up, no specific order, but Addiction Tokyo. So Addiction Tokyo, this is 18 shades of their matte liquid lip. And whenever it's not on sale, it's $27. I'll have to look at what Addiction Tokyo is doing for the kind of Black Friday and beyond. Come on, let's face it, Cyber Monday. It's more than one day. Um, they just have amazing lip products that go on like an oil and then like stay forever. This is a fantastic matte liquid lip. Addiction Tokyo, great lip products from this brand. This is no exception. So this definitely deserves its place. Here's one that kind of deserves its place and kind of doesn't, but if I left it out, I'd be really remiss. In no particular order, we're going to talk about the Dior Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Lip. This comes in about 15 shades, three of which are sequins. So let's talk about the sequin one in a moment. These are about $47 if you're not getting them on any sort of a sale, but the sales are so abundant, frankly, all year but especially this type of year, that you'd be crazy not to get this on sale. Really nice, lasts a long time, really pretty shades. I like the product a lot. The three shades of sequin, I, I swear there was more than three shades of sequin, but I only found three online right now. It's not my favorite. So the sequin takes this formula, and when you put it on your lips and then rub them together, it makes little glistening glitter specks appear. It's pretty. It's gimmicky and I love me a gimmick. The only issue I have with it is that they're kind of gritty like sand and then the product underneath doesn't last long. So the, in order to get the gimmick, the experience is a little bit rough. <laughs> so I, I kind of avoid personally, and you can tell me if you disagree, staying away from the sequin shades, but the regular 15 or so shades in the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid is a really nice matte liquid lip product. Let's go ahead and give the next space in our 10 to Lisa Eldridge. This is the Lisa Eldridge Velveteen Ribbon. This comes in eight shades and is $27. It's just a really nice, very predictable, kind of moussey, matte, long-lasting liquid lip shade. Comes in really pretty colors because it's Lisa Eldridge and she does it right. Um, eight really pretty colors, very pretty packaging, Easy to use, easy to apply, doesn't get away from you. It's a really nice one. And again, when I made this, it was troublesome, you guys, because there's certain ones like Dior and Lisa Eldridge that had to go on this list, or the list is just a mockery. Addiction Tokyo and such, and maybe even Valentino, those were me adding them in. But some of the, most of these 10 places were kind of already taken by fairly iconic, moussey matte liquid lips, to be honest with you. Here's another one, Givenchy Le Rouge Interdit Clean a cream velvet. This one is usually about $44, but I've seen it a lot of places at 30. Comes in also eight shades. Eight shades is the popular shade number. Most of these come in eight shades. It's interesting. Um, this is a pretty one. I had no trouble with it, like the colors. It's got that typical kind of Givenchy sweet scent that all of their lip products have that I personally don't like. This is supposed to be your top 10, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know. It does dissipate and then I'm okay with it. And it's got that kind of figure eight and moussey texture, figure eight little applicator. And it is a very good one. Pretty packaging, kind of that ombre packaging. It's a nice one. I like this one. And I don't always like everything from this brand. This is the Gucci Transfer Proof Liquid Lip. It's $47 when not on sale. And it comes in about 12 colors. Gucci I'm very hit and miss with. Their complexion products sometimes I love, sometimes I hate. Their lip products I generally really like, actually. They had that one, it's a gloss, that is so pretty. I think it's like Suzanne, that brown shade. But it smells like menthol cigarettes. It's really odd. I still really like it. Gucci is interesting because everything they do beauty wise, I will really like except for one nagging complaint, like it smells like menthol cigarettes. And their eyeshadows and I famously battle it out. I cannot, I really don't like any of the Gucci eyeshadows or even face palettes, but their lip products are pretty good. And this is a good one, $47. If you can find it on sale around now, you'll be even happier.
Well, I owe one to our friends over at Tom Ford. I did my top 10 cool eyeshadow count up the other day and I left off some of the Tom Ford quads and people were upset, rightfully so. So I'm sorry, Tom Ford. I'm gonna put you, Tom Ford, in my top 10 with the Liquid Lip Luxe Matte. This one comes in 10 shades and is $62 when it's not on sale. This is one of the prettiest packaging. It's got this kind of clouded glass and black top. Uh, Tom Ford does packaging really well pricey but it's Tom Ford and it is really kind of a luxury experience in liquid lip and I think a very good one. Now I do have to add something really funny before we get to our last few here. Um, I don't generally choose to wear matte liquid lips whether they're moussey or long lasting. Uh, that's why I was surprised with how many I have and how many of them I actually like because they're never my top choice and strangely, I really enjoy doing these countdowns or count ups where I'm not always the biggest fan of the product because it makes it easier to select. If you love these, you're gonna have a lot of trouble narrowing it down because they're not always my favorite. I was surprised how many I actually really like. I've been, like I said, I've been wearing the NARS Air Matte a lot more than I thought I would lately. They're so creamy. I think there's a little bit of us that keeps us from being incredibly interested in these products because we remember them as being so drying. Now that they're kind of moussey and creamy, they're very easy to wear and very pretty. And they really provide a contrast with a lot of us who wear so much lip gloss every day. Uh, I had to put Pat McGrath on the list. Her Liquid Lust is $34 and comes in 16 very pretty shades. It lasts a nice amount of time. It's got a really nice kind of thin application and like I said really pretty strong powerful shades that are quite pretty and quite easy to wear and I think really dependable so I really like the Pat McGrath. If you haven't go ahead and stop again and put your guess for my top because though these are in no particular order my top one is sensational. You might have made a mistake you might have not guessed my number one favorite. If you missed it I bet it's because you guessed my number two which is sensational. And um, all of mine are at the bottom of purses or backpacks here or there. And that is the Armani Lip Maestro. That is a sensational, that is a sensational liquid lipstick. I don't even love liquid lipsticks and I love the Armani. Um, and you can find them on sale. They're usually about $45, but I've seen them in quite a few places for like $22.50. Look, Armani, doesn't really, isn't really show offy with their beauty products, but their liquid products are so good. I love the Armani Liquid Highlighter. I love the Armani Liquid Cheek. I love the Armani Liquid Eyeshadow more than any other that's on the market. And their Lip Meister Liquid Lip is no exception. It is a fantastic liquid lip. Even I like it, and I'm not a huge fan of these matte liquid lipsticks. And I bet if you guessed wrong on my number one, I bet that's what you thought it was. And it's a it's a strong number two. That and Addiction Tokyo are two of my absolute favorites. But the best, the number one by far, I bet you guessed it, did you guess it? Most iconic liquid lip, and it deserves this title in spades. That is the Chanel Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. This is just like the one size, the one size from Patrick Star kind of copied it. This one has no imitation though. This is double-sided. So what you have on one side is this indelible, and this comes in like 26 or 30 shades. You can get any shade you want in this. That's another thing that makes it amazing is that the shade range is so expansive. It doesn't have any sort of a weird scent. It goes on really, really easily, really nice and thin. This doesn't budge. This part of it, remember this is dual-ended. This part will stay with you all day long through eating and any color you want. You're not limited in shade choice. The other end is a clear gloss that you put over it. This not only keeps the shade, you let it dry for a second. This not only keeps the shade looking pretty and shiny, it also gives you some hydration, makes you feel good, gives you a good feel. It's a great shine. And all you have to do throughout the day is just add the shine. You don't have to wear the shine. You could even just wear the shine if you wanted to. It's a great gl liquid gloss. But um, you could just wear this with no gloss on it. It's just 
so simple, so beautifully packaged, so many colors to choose from. It's about $48 worth every penny on sale or not on sale. And I don't even love matte liquid lips. And I know this isn't matte after you put the, you know, within reason. But this product I am firmly and utterly devoted to. If you have never tried a liquid lip, or if you have a liquid, or if you have an idea of what a liquid lip should be, try this. You will never wear anything else. It is beautiful. But it is true that my top three favorites are this one, and this is a resounding number one. Number two is way down. But number two would be the Armani Lip Maestro and tied probably with the Addiction Tokyo, which is very affordable at 27 when there's no sales running. Those are my absolute favorites. Now, the one size from Patrick Star does do a little take on this that's only in a few colors. Uh, I think the one size only comes in eight shades. There's that eight shades again. Um, it, but it's on, it's like 28, generally on sale for 14. So you can get a version of this. It's not the same though. Chanel does it the best. I bet you guys guessed. Or if you didn't, I bet you guessed the Armani. Great, great, great products. A really fun countdown or count up. So I was excited to have you guys along for the journey. Coming very, very soon is our community best of beauty. I do that every year. This is the fourth or fifth year. And I'm going to try to do it on a, a digital, like a Google form, so we can get even more people to vote and even less tallying for me. I like to tally the votes, but I do admit it's it's getting a bit cumbersome. So this will be a really nice way to do it. Um, and I'll be able to tally those maybe a little, little less, but that's coming up our community best of all of your beauty favorites from 2024 and beyond. Lots of other good things coming up. I'm gonna do a little exercise video. I'm kind of excited about coming up and any sort of countdowns or count ups or whatever you want to call them, uh, collections that you guys would like to see, drop that down below too. Somebody suggested I did my top lip red lipsticks that I was wearing in my red lip era rotation. Someone said I should do my top red lipsticks ever. That is daunting and really scary, but I might have a go at it. But what else do you think I should do and get together as we have kind of this more casual time in the month of December as our shopping and such winds down? Look down below for information on where to purchase this, where to join us on Facebook and here for membership, plus how to find me over on Instagram and TikTok and how to give super things. Thanks. I will list all of this below for sales and up here in YouTube shopping where available. Such an easy way to do it. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye-bye.